Here we are. It's the PWX Academy. Flo is back. That's right. Phillips letting me stay. I asked him. And now, after I did one take, one show, he says, All right, Flo, you can stay in here all you want. And now we have a six-man battle royal with phenomenal, phenomenal rookies. Because that's all we have here is phenomenal rookies. That's it. And just so you all know, if any, if any of you guys like any of these fighters or if you dislike them, just let us know. I mean, we can, we can always play more matches with people. I mean, we can always put them in more matches and we can always just tell them to get the hell out of here if you don't like them. I mean, simple as that. I mean, I myself, I like the Chip and Dale Dancer. I like bow ties. And for those of y'all that used to watch Five Minute Fights, we have a man that has changed over to wrestling. Sean Knight. I'm not going to say his nickname because we already have a person in our group. And that was beautiful. I don't even know who the guy is in the green. I don't even know who that is. I think I need Phoenix to like tell me who these guys are. It's Barry Armstrong. Barry Armstrong's in the green, everybody. I just want to point out to anyone who's been watching, uh, Kanan and Bradley are still facing each other. They had that epic war a little while back and they're still going at it. There's some bad blood there. Definitely. I mean, I don't know. I mean, this could be all be feuds before we know it. I mean, but definitely those two. I got to check out that fight. It was amazing. It was incredible. I mean, just for two rookies to be able to put on that kind of show. That's true. In a debut match. In a debut match. For you to have that much energy, that much charisma, that much cardio, damn it. That is an extraordinary feat. I mean, that's that's what we're producing here with PWX. Top of the line. Under new head trainer. Legendary Philip Ryan. Man. Old Philip. Such a veteran in this sport. I'm kind of glad we got him, for real. I mean, we signed his, his kid, so might as well. Huh? Grandson. Grandson, oh, I'm sorry. What was his father's name? Casey's? Phil. I thought his, his grandfather was Philip. Oh, uh, okay. High Chief. High Chief, there it is. High Chief. That's what I was looking for. High Chief. Oh, it looks like the other two have switched who they're attacking. But Kane and Brad, they're still going at it. They're not switching. And for two guys who very well could be the future of Pro Wrestling X, that's, a, that's an interesting development. That, that's a smart decision. If you develop this kind of feud already in your career with this person, that just that brings you to stardom. And if you can put on the type of matches they put on, Isn't that, that was pretty. That was a pretty kick. Already being epic in wrestling. Sean Knight was a god of MMA. He was he was a god. Let's just hope that he can produce that into wrestling terms. I mean, pro wrestling land has a few things that don't always happen in MMA. But he might be able to counteract and do some things to get with it. I just want to know how long Kanan and Bradley are going to fight. Like, what if this is going to be an epic, just them two at the end, and they just fight for another, like, 40 minutes? I'd be okay with it. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. So I hope you ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like this. We even brought Dan the St. Mulligan over. I mean, doesn't he look great? He finally shaved the damn afro. Got rid of it. Got a clean fade. I'm proud of him. It's good. Now he's got a suit and tie. He's wearing a yellow tie. Don't think mean anything. Lemon. I I bet you Scotty had something to do with it. And he's recruiting. I guarantee it. That's not a bad thing. No, that's that's one of the best marketing and promoting people with God's fresh green eyes. Man, I thought Bradley was done there for a second. Chip almost got him. Chip got the two count. I mean, he hasn't really done anything. I mean, it's mostly Kanan. Oh, and Knight is reversed. Wait, did, did, did the Saint just lay down a signature or was that a finisher? Dang. 
Oh my God! I feel bad for Sean right now. Never seen that in mixed martial arts battle. That's for damn sure. And he's these people are freaking awesome. Gets his head busted. Took a. What is the name of that move? I don't know. We have to ask Kane that he was uh, Armstrong's out. Oh man, I'm sorry, Barry. And now Kanan and Bradley are back at it again. Again. A night. Oh my gosh, a go-go platter. What? Can he take? Well, Dan's used to it, though, because he was in MMA, too. But, wow. He still has submission skills. He is holding that in deep. He's going to rampage him. Not as, not as high as rampage. That was still epic. Truth. That's the truth. Looks like Chip's going after Bradley again. That was a dumb decision, apparently. They're not even going after other people. They just attack other people when they're provoked. It's hilarious. They obviously don't like each other. Sean Knight eliminating Dan. The St. Mulligan. Now that's awesome. Two MMA pros going at it and eliminating each other. Chip, look at that. He's an opportunist. Chip, I've noticed that in this match. Chip is an opportunist. When he sees someone's down and hurt, or they just got up from a pin, I'm getting him. I'm going in. Wow. It's a good strategy. It's a great strategy. It just hasn't worked yet. Pin after pin. These men want to win. Oh my goodness. Slams him on his face. Can he get the win? I don't know. Here he goes. Sean Knight going for it. Still, no one can finish the match. This is one of the longest matches I've ever seen in my life. And I've sat and commentated for five hours straight in my life. And, and Chip's, Chip's done. He's gone. Get out of here. Your opportunities are up. He's going to kick. He's epic. He's not going to go down like that. Sean's got a good strategy here. He's going to sit back and watch these two kids just beat the crap out of each other. Who did he got? I don't care. I'm just excited. Who do you have picked, Phoenix? I have no idea. It looks like Bradley's in good shape here. Oh, but Sean steals it. <laughs> Still in that thunder. I think he thinks he's got it. Or maybe not. Uh oh, got the go go plot in. And this is a move that not many wrestlers are used to standing, so I don't I don't know if he can actually take it. Most wrestlers most wrestlers don't see a go go plot. And that is the Sean Knight we're all used to. But this is where it's gonna come down to wrestling experience and MMA experience, and they're totally different. I'm sure Bradley's been in this situation. Bradley's pretty good at wrestling, actually. Oh, he's green? Relatively. Oh. He mostly, that's honestly, he mostly had his job because he's Brittany's boyfriend. Oh, wow. He's, he's he looks hard. pretty tough, though, to be so green. Nice sweep takedown. Wow. Is Sean Knight going to be the X Factor in wrestling also? Is he going to be that guy? I mean, we're always looking for the next big thing in this sport. We're always looking for the new kid on the block that's going to step up. I'm just saying, I'm sorry to say so, ladies and gentlemen, but we're not always going to have a Brian Winter. We're not always going to have a Creed. We're not always going to have the Keegan Shaws and the Alex Brantleys in this business. And we've recently seen the end of Chase Black. That's a sad day, too. I mean, he was hobbling to the ring as it was, and he was still just kicking ass, but man. You could tell he was getting to the end. And he's going for the go go plot once again. He's already submitted one man. Sean Knight. Doing what he did. No, no, no. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. 
I hope you all have enjoyed another episode of the PWX Academy. So you should check out all our videos. Like, comment, subscribe, one up us. Go look at our other four or five channels, however many we're doing now. Just check out everything we do. Like it, love it, do that shit all day long. Sit on YouTube, eat, get fat, watch it, enjoy your life. That's it. Thank you for your time. This has been Flo. We're out.